Judy Harris from the Discovery Museum in Acton, and today we'll be talking about the physical changes of matter. Uh, we'll also be exploring dry ice. The kids will do some hands-on dry ice experiments, and then I'll do some liquid nitrogen demonstrations. It's sublimating. Do you see it sublimating? It's changing from a solid to a gas. Okay, that's all I need. Can you get the seal with Oh, nice. That's good way. Okay. This is the way to do it. Hey, this is the way to do it. Why does it sound like a dying duck? How did you do that? It made a layer. Huh? Oh, frogs. Seriously! Hi, my name is Karen Newby. I work here at the Chenery Middle School. I teach fifth grade math and science. And we are so, so fortunate to have this opportunity to be able to play, I'm going to use air quotes, to play with dry ice. And we get to experiment with a different properties, which is something we study in the classroom, but I can't bring dry ice in. It really does work well, so let me just grab it. It's this. so hard. Um, it was really cool and really fun to see the bubbles <coughs> from the <coughs> from the soap thing to to like get onto my hand and then squash it. And also the fog machine, it felt real, it sort of felt weird when I tasted it. And it felt really weird when it got on my hair. So did you feel like you learned a lot today? I liked it. I felt like you get back. Um, I think it's really good experience to show students does the how material change different forms. And it's really it's hands-on experience. It's, they can feel, they can see, and they can taste those materials and so I, I think they have learned a lot today.